Let us begin this afternoon in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Welcome to St. Timothy Catholic Church to celebrate this rite of initiation, this baptism. He's special in our family, as you can guess, and he's special to all of you. We ask the parents, what name do you give to your child? Robert William. And what do you ask of God's church for Robert William? You have asked to have your child baptized, and in doing so, you are accepting the responsibility of training him in the practice of the faith. It will be your duty to bring him up to keep God's commandments as Christ taught us. Do you clearly understand what you, what you are undertaking? And to the godparents, are you ready to help these parents of this child in duty as Christian parents? Robert William, the Christian community welcomes you with great joy. In its name, I claim you for Christ our Savior by the sign of the cross. I will now trace the sign of the cross on your forehead and invite your parents and godparents to do the same. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received. With the humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them when Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them, for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Let the children come to me. Something was unheard of in those days. They weren't celebrated the way we celebrate them in our society today. Today, as we celebrate this rite of baptism for Robbie, we have an opportunity to welcome him into the church in the first of the rites of initiation. And in we, when we celebrate this today, unlike what happened 2,000 years ago, we celebrate these young lives. What is it that you're gonna be teaching him? You're gonna teach him about perseverance. You're gonna teach him how to get back up when he falls. You're gonna teach him about reverence and piety. You're gonna teach him about patience and compassion. But most of all, you're going to teach him about love. Robbie, we anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We ask you, Father, with your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Is it your wish that Robert be baptized into the faith of the church which we have all just professed with you? Robert William, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You Congratulations, everyone. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation, as Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king. So may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. See in this white garment the outward side of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, Bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. Amen. Receive the light of Christ. This child of yours has been enlightened by Christ. He is to walk always as a child of the light. May he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. So when the Lord comes, may he go out to meet him 
with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus Christ made the deaf hear and the dumb speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. He is now called the child of God, for so indeed he is. And my almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless you. Go in peace. Thanks. Congratulations to little Robert. You are my